Hello everyone, so this package has just arrived in the post so I thought I'll quickly turn my camera on and just film me opening it. It is the Midori MD A5 light notebooks and uh, if you've already seen I have the Midori MD, the regular one, in here and it is fantastic for watercolours, I absolutely love it. Um, it's a slightly creamy off-white uh, papers that are inside I'll show you uh, they're showing up a little bit more white on the camera than they are in person but they are definitely more of a, a cream and an ivory and they are fantastic for really using a lot of water when you're painting with your watercolours these are just two Hagrids that I did yesterday just to give you an example uh, the, the paper just holds up really well. You can see there's just a little bit of buckling there, but there's, nothing goes through. And I use it for my journaling when I want more space. These are just some more examples. You've already seen flip throughs of this before I started using it for journaling. But as you can see, I use a lot of watercolour and I've never had any problems it's some of the best paper that I've used and I love the feel of it it's very lightweight I love the sound that crinkly sound that everybody loves um, this paper is not as thin as like Hobonichi and Stology and things like that I have really looked into the Stology notebook the 365 in B6 because I would love something like this for my B6 Travelers notebook but it is so pricey on UK Amazon. At the moment, I think it's like £25. And that is just for a plain notebook. And I thought, I don't know, I just I couldn't justify spending that much on one. And with Amazon prices, I don't know if you've ever noticed, but the the price goes up and down constantly on Amazon. At one point it was only £19. And I wish I'd got it then because now it's like £25 and I've seen it actually go up to about £30 but you obviously have to wait a long time for it to go back up and go back down. Um, so what I'm going to show you in this unboxing is kind of my DIY to get, the, to get what I want for my B6 notebook. Um, so yeah, this is just the paper. This is the same paper as what is in the MD light that I have bought that's just arrived. So this is some ink with a watercolour wash. It's fantastic for fountain pens. It's just been perfect for everything that I have uh, used in my notebook and like I said I like to use a lot of water when I am doing my watercolours and it is just the perfect paper and they only do this notebook in A5 and B6 Slim and A6 and they might do some other sizes but unfortunately they don't do regular B6 and B6 Slim would be too slim for my notebook and for what I want to use it for so the next best thing for me was to go onto the journal shop which is fantastic if you want anything uh, by the brand Midori in the UK and they have lots of other different brands as well it's a really good website actually uh, so let me show you the notebooks inside I've already opened it as you can see here they are and yeah like I said these are A5 on the website it says that they are um, oh what's it called not staple bound but like thread oh no they are staple bound I think yeah they've got staples although the website says that they aren't stapled but uh, never mind I'd, it's easy for me if they are stapled anyway because what I'm hoping to do is cut them down to B6 so that is the next best thing for me as I don't really want to justify spending, well I can't really justify spending £25 on um, a B6 Stology at the moment. And these were only £10.50 for three. So there you can see it comes with three of them. And they all have 48 pages I believe. They all have the MD paper logo there that you can just about see. 
and the covers are kind of this yeah they're the same creamy off-white as the pages inside so what I'm going to do is take the staples out so I'll just find the middle pull those staples out and I'm going to cut the pages down to B6 and sew the pages together with uh, twine so I'm going to uh, bound the pages with some twine that I have the package came with these, the notebooks came with these um, my regular Midori MD A5 also came with these and they're stickers that you can just use inside the notebook they're quite cool if you want to use those so yeah I just thought I would show you these lovely notebooks because I've not seen them on here yet I'm going to cut them down, I'm not going to record that because it's going to take forever I don't have a paper trimmer or anything like that, I'm literally going to uh, one by one cut every page down to B6 using a ruler and scissors so that is going to take me quite some time so I'm not going to be recording that but I will show you what they look like when I'm finished and I will probably swatch the paper as well just so you can see what I mean by how well they take watercolours so yeah catch you back when I finish doing that just going to put the cover in the elastic just to see if I've cut it right as you can see I've done a very messy job but uh, I do with all of my uh, B6 inserts that I've done by myself and I don't mind I think it just adds to the quirkiness of it when I was cutting I did cut off the MD logo as well but that's fine because I'm going to be covering these up so yeah so it's just nice and snug on the elastic it looks like it's going to fit perfectly now I'm just going to cut the papers to fit in the size as well. Now that I've cut the cover, I can just use that as a template for the rest of the pages as well to make it easier for myself. So my insert is done. I have cut all of the pages down individually and they aren't straight at all by any means. In fact, to some people's standards, they're quite shabby and definitely not perfect but that is fine by me. I actually have another insert here that I have made before that is also a B6 and the edges were definitely not neat or perfect in this one and once it starts getting some bulk and you start adding watercolour and pen to paper you hardly even notice the badly cut pages so I'm very chuffed with how it's turned out I have bound it with twine, just some red and white twine that I had. I will link down Mrs Brimble's, Anna's amazing YouTube tutorial on how to make your own inserts because that is how I learnt and her video is fantastic. She explains it so, so well um, and I highly recommend watching it because it sh she shows you how to do all of this and it has helped me make all of my inserts so I'm very grateful for that video and I'm sure that some of you will appreciate it as well so I'm just going to do some swatches now like I said I would do on this beautiful Midori paper I'm so chuffed that I've made this insert in a B6 because I really wanted to use Midori paper in a B6 because the paper is so fantastic so I'm going to do a few swatches now with my watercolours these are my St. Petersburg watercolours and uh, you've seen me use them before they are fantastic and they work very well with this paper
it's such a shame with this uh, light the light is so terrible at the moment because it's already going so dark that you can't see just how vibrant these watercolors are so I will probably try and insert some clips just so that you can see how lovely it looks but I'm just plopping down oranges and reds just some lovely vibrant colours and um, you can see the page is still wet but there is nothing coming through to the other side so I am so thrilled with that notebook that I've made um, it's a much cheaper alternative for me than the Stology at the moment although I'm sure that's something that I will invest in at some point when I've got the money but for now I'm really pleased with these so the A5 inserts that I showed you earlier were £10.50 for three and at the journal shop you get free delivery when your order is over £10 so that included free delivery so I think that is pretty fantastic they arrived sooner than I expected as well which makes it even better but um, yeah that's pretty much it for today guys so thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video despite the terrible lighting issues towards the end I really appreciate it Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and thank you to all my subscribers. Uh, I can't believe that we're almost at 500 now so that is fantastic. Bye!